Hello guys, uh, so today uh, after multiple questions uh, that you ask me, I have to answer uh, to you and uh, I try my best to explain how it works, how I build it and uh, I put in description all links uh, that you need to, to begin your project and maybe you have some other question after that, I will uh, with pleasure to, uh, to, answer this, to answer it. So for start here. Um, uh, my software, my um, my game is Flight Simulator uh, 2020, um, and the main software uh, to link Flight Simulator to the devices, uh, all of this shit, um, is named Moby Flight. So Moby Flight is a free free software. You can uh, download it. I show you. Uh, maybe you can see the screen. And here you have uh, to uh, to set every button on the software. Uh, the software is the um, the platform between uh, buttons and the simulator. And um, for each part, I take an example for the the, the glare shield here. Uh, I use um, like uh, Arduino Mega. 25, 60, or copy. For me, I use Iligu Mega. It's a copy of the Arduino, and it works very, very good. I put the, the link in the description. In overall of this project, I use 15 uh, Mega card. Um, I use around seven for the overhead because there is a lot of buttons. Uh, here, for the glare shield, I use four, four cards. Um, and here, uh, for this and the pedestal, I use um, four other cards. Um, so let's uh, let's start together uh, the engine. Uh, today we we became a flight uh, between uh, Paris and Madrid in Spain. So let's go. And uh, I after that after takeoff, I explain you um, what kinds of materials I used for uh, the shell. Uh, I use for panels and something else. So here uh, we have the overhead. Um, maybe I um, take a break to show you what's what working, uh, etc. Okay. So we have the overhead, the lights. It's a uh, 12 uh, 12 volt LED uh, circuits. Um, it's not complicated. Uh, maybe at the end of the video, I show um, very steps, uh, each steps of uh, of this uh, of these parts. So uh, maybe I use this stick to show you how it works. So switch off, switch on, like the the sim. You can see in the sim. So this, the same thing. Okay, the battery is good. Fuel pumps. Okay. Hadirs. So this is for the ND and PFD. Okay. They are two minutes. Uh, okay, switch lights. Okay. Okay, we're ready to go. So here we have the pedestal. Uh, this is a personalized um, part for me for ground service, like jetways, etc. Um, here you have uh, every radar, something. Um, here, it's uh, very easy to copy the MCDU. It's simply a uh, iPad Mini, and it calls uh, with SimBridge. Um, it calls the um, the MCDU. 
and it don't, doesn't work for now. I don't know why, how. Um, Yeah, the engine uh, start slowly. The ER is working. Okay. So here, here are the lights of everything. Okay. Set my speed. Okay. I have to to hear the radio to to know the altitude transition. And here we have the captain pack for Airbus, the joystick, one and second. Here you, know, you, you know it. Okay. Start it. So I take a break and uh, come back for a uh, switch on. Okay, so now we are ready to, to taxi. Um, to switch on the engine. Okay, just check the radio. The cask. Um, I use the cask only to hear the, the control tower and something else. But uh, every sound of the planes are um, here, the sound bar. Uh, it's a better experience like this.
Clear for the <clears throat> for the ghost from 9 to 5 Okay, after takeoff, um, I continue my explication. Um, so, here we have the, the main cockpits. Uh, I show you more details. Uh, okay, here we have the overhead, the glare shield, and the 
this time. So to, to success this project, you have to, to take some woods for the shell, for the every parts, and um, every panel uh, is uh, cutted and uh, engraved uh, with a CO2 laser uh, machine uh, that allows you more pre precision and uh, very good uh, results. Let me just seconds and um, continued application um, every me measurement um, was take on the web uh, maybe I put on description uh, websites that I, I use for this and here we have the shell, so it's a homemade uh, shell, not very good, but uh, it does the job because uh, you have more immersion with uh, a plexiglass. It's a plastic glass here, here, uh, and wood uh, structure that um, gives you like uh, the real plane. You have the, um, every part, you have uh, more immersion. Here you have the seats, it's a car seats. I chose this uh, in France uh, from the brand Ren Renault uh, because you can have this for your elbow uh, in the both sides. Uh, this is wood, wood structure with rail of the, seats, the seats. Uh, what else? Um, here, the, the screen are uh, three uh, monitors of uh, the PC. Okay, no, nothing uh, very special, just a uh, 19 uh, inch Dell here, here, um, in stand view. Uh, be careful if you use LCD like me, because in the captain side, you can see very clear information, but in first officer side, you don't have uh, the good view because it's not an EPS monitor. Um, here you have you have digits. You have uh, digits, uh, many wire uh, uh, below the, the protection. And uh, what can I say? Uh, maybe cost of the project. Uh, every parts, every electronic parts, uh, screens, etc. You are around uh, six six thousand euro. Maybe you can uh, put down uh, the budget, but it will be difficult because the wood are the wood uh, prices are increased, plastic, etc. Every parts are increased for, for this time. The main view is a 75. Uh, it's a 75 TV. I choose this size. Uh, you have uh, one advantage because um, it's perfectly fit with the end of uh, the glare shield here and here. But the inconvenience, you are too close, so maybe you can see more pixels. But it's a very good experience because you don't have the bezels in the middle. This is a plastic, okay? And you can pass cables here. Um, but it's a very good, uh, good option because uh, for me, uh, I found that TV are more uh, detailed than projector because at the the first part of my project it was a project with a projector. You can see maybe. Uh, the curved, the curved um, ball. I, I, I see. Uh, I will show you after that uh, how it works. And the sides, uh, I choose for budget 55 inch TV. You can, the best uh, that I suggest is to use three 75 inch TV because you can have the good bezels on the sides. No, um, no difference between us. Because if you if you see there is a little difference because the, the size is not the same. You can see 55 is a little bit. If you if you choose 75 in the size two, you can have more than um, 220 uh, four degree degree of view. Here you're limited to do this, but it's 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 okay. But if you are in perfect condition, I suggest to use 355. Uh, TV. It's a cost, okay, but if you 
do everything you yourself. You can save money um, um, regardless to the market prices of this um, of these materials. Um, so I decide to to make this uh, from cockpit because I'm a passionate of uh, of aviation uh, of Airbus and. Um, if you see this video maybe you are passionate too and uh, you have enough to use this mouse so i already create a tablet just rail the wood uh, it's a semi leather and a keyboard maybe you, you can use uh, the map etc flight simulator it's not a problem okay um, so I forgot this. Okay, we are good. Standard. Just something. Everything is fine on the plane. Okay. Level up. Okay. Okay. Um, I show you how it works um, in outside the, the cockpit because it's a it's a wood wood box. Uh, So in French you have two meter point fifty centimeter uh, in wide, and this is the same same dimension, two meters point fifty two meters point fifty. It's a wood. It's a homemade door, uh, and that gives you this. Okay, uh, it's not perfect. It's not the business market products, but. Uh, I found it's a good uh, first try. Here you can see how it works. See the lot of wires of this shit, of the overhead. I decide to, to wire every button, but as you know, you don't need to put uh, to push every button for a uh, start the plane. But if you want wire every button, you can see um, the board, Arduino, like Arduino. Uh, you can see how it works. Okay. Um, and my PC uh, is deported here. Uh, the wires of the sim are passed through uh, the wall. Okay, here. And my uh, main PC. So here my uh, gaming uh, setup. Uh, <laughs> you can see this. Or says now something uh, other, but um, here you have uh, RTX GeForce uh, 4080. Okay, uh, it's it's a good graphic card because in the flight simulator it's very useful to use NVIDIA frame ger generation. Uh, if you don't have NVIDIA frame generation, you have some problems because uh, your FPS with all of this uh, screen is very uh, huge in performance. Um, what can I say? Yes, the processor. The processor is a uh, is a uh, 5800X 3D. Uh, 3D. Uh, it's the best processor in this time for flight simulator because the 3 the we the V3 cache is very important in this processor. And uh, the rest is uh, maybe I, I put my config in the uh, description to explain uh, what are minimum spec because uh, if you run 3 TV 4k you need more 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 power uh, the simulator is very uh, um, very um, hard in performance inside the resolution is 2k so uh, 1440 uh, p and the main is uh, to 4K, okay? Um, I show you maybe... My settings are around ultra and high. That depends. Um, depends of your choice, taste, and, uh, and your uh, FPS. I, I, I fly on the main airport like Paris, New York, and uh, it's impossible to turn everything on max. Um, that's it for my setup 
maybe you have question about uh, dimensions uh, i put some links um, what can i say uh, of maybe the the, um, the point important is the size of every button you have to try you have to make some samples you have to try if uh, this button for example is not very small or too big you have uh, you have to to spend more time to to try and um, and that's it so i finished the video um, on landing and madrid so i cut now and uh, come back for the landing and uh, if you have some other question or if you want to to know uh, something else about this project uh, let me know okay bye bye